location, location, location is a saying in baseball that I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard. If you're a pitcher, you know, I want to dial in your location, you want to be accurate, you want to hit your spots to get the best performance possible. For landscape photographers, on the other hand, location is your entire photography experience. If you get a great location, you're going to have a good day in photography. But if you don't, it's going to be kind of a problem. So let's talk about location in this video. What's up guys, a Project Photography, back to the video, and today, people, today, let's talk about location for landscape photographers, because I believe that this is a subject that doesn't get really talked about a lot, and finding locations can be kind of difficult, so I kind of want to break that down, demystify location finding, and help you guys with being able to find amazing landscape photography locations. The way we're going to do that is we're talking about three different tips to help you find amazing landscape photography locations. So let's jump right into it with the first one, which is use Google Maps. Now, it sounds pretty simple, just use Google Maps, but how are you exactly gonna be using Google Maps to find incredible landscape photography locations? So for me, the way I do it, I just kind of like look around Google Maps, especially my local area. I look specifically for mountains, uh, beaches, and just overall green areas that uh, look decent and nice on Google Maps. What I do is I'll click on the actual location, uh, scroll through the photos, see how it looks, and if the photos look pretty promising, I'll give it a try. I'll save it on my Google Maps app, you know, maybe for later down the road, if I want to, you know, go back to see my locations, you know, what areas I actually want to go ahead and photograph, go ahead and do that. Just save it right on your app. Now, when it comes to this, you know, you're not going to know if a location is actually nice until you go there. You know, for me, I've been to places that the photos look great. And then when you get there, the actual location and landscape photography is not that nice. And I've had situations go the other way as well, where, you know, the photos on Google Maps did not look that great. But when I actually went there, the landscape was amazing. So... This is all about trial and error and seeing what works, seeing what places don't. You just go to these places and see, you know, is it nice or is it not? Just look through your Google Maps, you know, look at the different uh, mountains, different locations, and just, you know, look around, see what's out there. And if you like something, go ahead and save it. So the second tip is to use social media to find different places. So what I like to do sometimes if I want to uh, look at places, especially around the globe, is use hashtags. So go to, uh, when you're searching for different things, you go to search uh, landscape photos, uh, that's the hashtag that you want to use, or different landscape photography hashtags, or whatever there is. And look through the different photos. If you see an amazing photo, go ahead and click on it, and they will probably have a location right there. From there, you can go ahead and save it on your Google Maps, save it as a location that you want to visit, and boom, you have a list of places that you might want to go to. Now, they most likely won't be that local, so that might be a good place for, for a vacation, or maybe just a day trip or something. So. Uh, that's a good place to find places to go on vacation for, or just have a nice collection of different landscape places. So normally people that you're on your friends list that you follow, especially on Instagram, they'll most likely places go uh, like tag places that they go to. I know my friends were on the West coast. So we like to go up and down the beaches and a lot of people actually tag different areas, uh, different beaches that I think are really nice. So we'll ask them, Hey, uh, what, uh, what places you go to? And they'll tell me, and I can say that on my Google maps. Uh, just ask your friends, you know, see what's out there. And maybe if there's something that you like, you can go and check it out and ask them if they can send you that location. So that is it for the second tip. Let's jump right on to the third tip, which is to just go around and explore, see what's out there. When I go out in uh, San Francisco and shoot some landscape photography or just cityscape stuff, I don't really have a plan as to where I'm going. I kind of just walk around, get lost, see what's out there. And if something that kind of comes up, you just go ahead and shoot it. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be planned all the time. Uh, for me, uh, when I found the Angeles National Forest, I didn't actually go looking for uh, Google Maps or all that. I just kind of saw it and was like, hey, maybe I'll come here to go and photograph some stuff. And it turned out extremely well. Some of my favorite photos are of that place. And for me, just go around, explore different places. Maybe there's a nice green area in Google Maps that isn't necessarily marked. Just go there, drive there, drive around to see what's happening. So the best thing about landscape photography is that, you know, there's gonna be places and areas where you're just gonna find on your own and that's the beauty of it. Just go out there and explore the world, explore what the world has to offer. So that is essentially my three easy tips to find incredible landscape photography locations. I use all of them to find the places that I go to. And so far, I come to some pretty good places. A lot of this has to deal with the Google Maps and be able to save these locations because there's gonna be a point where you're kind of like burnt out, you know, there's not many places you wanna go back to, but you're always gonna have that list of places that you want to go on your Google Maps. So here you get bored, just look through them, see what you want to go to, and just go ahead and photograph and go ahead, just go out and explore. That's the main thing. I mean, that's why location is so important because 
Without location, you're not going to get amazing landscape photos. I can give you the best technical skills in landscape photography, but if you can't go to a great location, that's going to be all for nothing. It doesn't matter how good you are. If the location isn't good, you're not going to come up with that amazing photo. So that is essentially it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section tips that you want to give to other people, how you're able to find some incredible landscape photography locations of your own. Anyways, guys, I also am selling my photo prints down in the description bar below. So if you want to go check it out, order a print or two, go ahead and do just that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.